Good morning, everyone. I want to share with you my heart, my thoughts as we go into this crisis, this pandemic, if you want to call it that. Um, people are calling it COVID-19 or the coronavirus. Um, there's so many different opinions on what the outcome of this event will be like and what will happen and transpire throughout this next month. It's it's definitely a time of seeking God and searching for answers. I don't want to go into great um, dialogue detail with anyone with regards to what's happening in the world. I'm in my long john top, so you know I'm in a cold climate. Um, there's snow just not far from here. Um, I am very, very um, of good courage. I'm very, very happy. I'm not distraught or concerned or worried because the, the Lord is on my side and I know that and I, I trust in him. But I want to, this is a message I want to get out to my followers on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, Hangout, Google, YouTube, all of those, uh, Facebook Messenger and stuff, of course, and WhatsApp and I'm on all those and we chat and line and <laughs> I'm on them all, most of them. Different countries use different ones. I want to get this message out to you. I am not a bank. I don't have money. The money that I give you and I help you out with is usually unexpected or I work very hard to get it. Well, right now in America, we can't leave our houses um, legally without showing a purpose and a reason that is to do with our our own self reliance or our survival, for example, essential needs like food and stuff like that. So it's not really good. Also, I want to show there is a real virus. You know, this virus is is real and there is a chance of spreading it. I want to show um, respect and love for others and not even if, if it wasn't totally the way we think it is, it's important that we not disrespect others in their way of thinking and 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 practice this social distancing and and that's what I'm doing. Um, I've received a lot of hate messages um, from unidentified people. I have my ideas who it is saying they wish I was arrested and put in handcuffs and you know there's some interesting things. These are these are very vicious messages um, that they're following me and they're going to call the cops on me and I need to go to the hospital and get tested and all of this stuff. And, and we know that you know Everyone has their opinions, the president and the the teams that are, you know, the task force for this coronavirus is telling us what to do. We can follow that. We can follow that on our own ideas as well or not follow it. But I'm going to go along with the country's guidelines and do the very best I can to, you know, to practice these self uh, safety measures in not you know, not that I have the virus. I've been traveling all over. I feel wonderful. I don't have a sniffle. I don't have a headache. I don't have, I feel great. I just need to shave and, but I've been busy. Anyway, I love you all. I want to help you. I'm not sick. I'm not distancing myself because I don't love you. I'm just, this is a crisis. We all are in this together, but we each one has to come up with our, our plan with God's help to survive this. So, I'm trying not to get involved in the political issues of this, but at some point in time, I will share. Please understand, things are not the way you think they are. Things are not the way they appear to be, okay? There are underlying agendas and things going on with this virus that absolutely are clear. I have the facts. I've seen it. It doesn't take a rocket scientist, and I'm not. this is not conspiracy. This is just fact, okay? Um, I'll give you a little tip. Please keep your immune system up. Eat healthy, drink water, sleep, and take vitamin C, and just do your very best to keep your immune system at its peak because all doctors know and agree that your immune system is the only thing that gets you well and keeps you well. And um, I mean, that's really the key element in life to staying healthy and being well. And it's not, you're not forsaking God to use an antibiotic or something that the government provides to help. So God bless you all. Love you. Bye-bye.